Hi everyone, my name is Tony Wale, and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. No, I'm just kidding, this isn't Mod Tutorial, this is Skyrim Special Edition Mod Test. We're actually going to test some mods. I've, I wanted to do this from the get-go when I first did it, but I didn't know how I was going to react. What I'm doing is, uh, th guys, this is... This is this is this is bad modding what I'm about to show you. So I have all my systems ready to go. I have all my mods, and I have SkyUI installed, and I have converted a few mods over. Um, player voice, wonders of weather, and all that stuff for SkyUI. And I also have my regular mod, my regular mod pes uh, system. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to load up Sky uh, SKSC 64 with. All the mods that I have, which is like, I can tell you, those will show you right now how many mods I have. So give it a moment, it's going to load up, and it'll show you exactly how many mods I have installed. These are texture mods, all the stuff that I usually use. I'm actually going to walk some of the mods over with you guys in case you want to try to try them out. So, um, it's kind of a little bit of a mod demo too, so I'll show you some of my mod demos. I have 169 mods in, including some mods that I converted, you know, from Sky UI. From, uh, I mean, SKSE. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and we're going to load the game. And I'm going to show you, one, what my game looks like, and then two, we're going to see some funny stuff with uh, SKSC64 Alpha when mods haven't been fully converted over. This is going to be fun. Alright guys, by the way, don't do this at home. Remember, remember children, don't try this at home. Unless you actually know what you're doing, and you don't care about your game. And I don't, because I'm doing a completely brand new game and not have to worry about it. So anyway guys, let's get started. So, I want to show you what happens when you load almost 160, 100, 169 mods with SKSE 64 and I'm going to show you how smooth it runs. Um, as you can see, the, uh, just be warned there is a face glitch bug going on right now in my game. I haven't figured out what's going on with that. But, uh, I will. So I've gone ahead and I've loaded, I've loaded in uh, SKSE 64 with my game. It is now uh, running with 169 mods. I have, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to load the game. And I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of what, one, what, what my game looks like, and uh, two, how, how my game, even though it's got glitches with SKC64 installed, how smooth it runs. Okay. So I, I want you to see how smooth my game runs. Okay. I really do. So there is a face bug on some of the female characters. I'll fix that later. That's because I installed another mod on my, um, my organizer. And it kind of caused that it caused that glitch a little bit, so no big deal. All right, guys. So before we begin, we're going to use uh, Gopher's Immersive Hub that I basically uh, converted myself. And it works pretty much like a charm. For any mod I, I, I'd want to use, it'd probably be this one. Look at this. Now this is called, now the mods I have installed, some of the ones you're going to see is, this is Dabella's um, Forest. Okay. Now, don't worry about that face glitch mod. I'll fix that later on my next video with Gnar. I'll have it fixed. You're also, look at the mountains. You're also seeing um, Majestic Mountains. So that's gorgeous as well. And you're seeing Noble 2K uh, textures on the ground. And this is better roads. So you're seeing better road textures. Uh, the kids are alright are installed. I also have ordinary women installed as well. So that's probably what's causing the glitch with um, the, gl the ordinary women mod is causing the glitch with the females um, of immersive. Yeah, it's probably causing the glitch with the immersive um, wenches. Yeah, so ordinary women is probably causing the glitch with the or with the immersive wenches. That's what you're seeing there. That's a conflict. I'll fix. I can fix that later. I'll, I'll probably end up actually making a patch myself if I need to. Anyway, guys, um, I want to show you this mod too. This is called Better Water Texture. If you're what you're seeing, it the, the reason that the water looks so ripply is because it's actually uh, a little bit more streamlined. It looks kind of like a little bit. It looks kind of like an old static TV, but it actually does look kind of nice if you look if you look at it long enough. Um, it's not really having any issues either. It's running really, really, really well. Um, and so as you can see, I have just regular mods installed on SK. These are just the mods I just I, I didn't even convert over. The only ones that, as you can, they holidays. This was all over brought it over. I wonder if I actually converted these myself if they'd work just fine. 
I know, however, Frostfall and Campfire won't work properly because they rely on a utility called um, Papyrus Utility. So when that gets brought over, Chesco will probably be able to bring these over pretty well. I have a feeling this will be one of the first mods he brings over. I'm also hoping, he, and, uh, hopefully, he'll bring over Simply Knock too, because that is one of my favorite mods. I might end up trying to convert that myself, but we'll see. So as you guys can see, um, my, this is what my game looks like. So Debella's, uh, Debella's trees are forest of, forest of Debella. Majestic mountains. It just looks gorgeous. And then uh, better water texture. Now the sky, it looks like an ENB, is called um, Dolomite Weathers. And I combined it with um, Climates of Tamriel. And trust me, the weathers are amazing. So I want to show you a site that I think you might like, thinks really, really pretty. And what's cool is the, the better waters texture is just basically a texture overlay. It's nothing more than that. They don't, that doesn't add anything. Now, there is a glitch out in Solitude. I would need to check to make, just verify with the author to make sure that that is working. One of the reasons I don't have real water in my, in my game right now is because of the simple fact that there's a glitch in the, um, in the mod due to a glitch in the engine of Skyrim Special Edition. And I know the author of Real Realistic Weather, uh, uh, Auto, I think it's, uh, Tech Angel, is trying to find a, find a solution to that. I know that for sure. So. God, look at this. This is beautiful. But you're not, uh, the site that you really want to see is the one that looks, uh, out towards Lake Ilanata. That's the site that really, really, really plays well, I think, in the, uh, the game itself. Here we coming up. Oh, my goodness. I love these clouds. I'm running 160 mods, and it's, it's, there's not even, like, look, there's not even a, even a lag. I'm also running my uh, my video player, too. This is how smooth Special Edition is. I've also got the immersive first person, too. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's just gorgeous. Wow, that is amazing. And with the Force of the Bella, ooh, that's so pretty. The only, thing, the only problem we have is the uh, these little square lines of the water, but I have a feeling at some point we'll figure out how to get rid of those. I know there is so much of a, somewhat of a fix, but it affects ENBs. So if you want subsurface scattering in the future, you're going to have to find some way to enroute it. And I have a feeling the community eventually will find a way to get subsurface scattering in the game. And by that time, I will have my computer upgraded, and I will show you guys what it looks like. I have a feeling it's going to look amazing. Amazing! Amazing! Simply amazing! It's amazing! Amazing! Alright guys, I want to show you a cut one more, uh, just like, I think one more mod if I can. So this is a simple animal mod I have installed. Um, it's called Ducks and Swans. It's actually one of my favorite mods. It brings a, a realistic, uh, kind of a realness to Skyrim Special Edition that I absolutely love. Also Birds of Skyrim I love as well has little tiny birds, you know, that sit around and do things. And then uh, Airborne Perch Birds also runs really well. So it's called Ducks and Swans. They just, I mean, they're not really meshes, but they just kind of like float around and they, they look like realistic animals just kind of, you know, doing their thing. I like how they're replaced too. It just doesn't, you know, that look that, look that uh, interfering so much. Little birds, you know, floating down the streams. As you can see over there, Skybirds runs without a problem at all. I mean, it barely, it, it barely touches this engine. Ah. Anyway, guys, this is Skyrim Special Edition. Um, this is my game, what it looks like for now, with 160, 69 mods installed. And yes, oh, that's KSC 64. And this right here is showing you that these are broken. Frostfall is broken, too. It has the same thing inside. See, these are broken. They're not going to work. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you show you this. I, I wanted to show you that you know this is this is pretty cool. Um, the and the, the stuff's work. The stuff has menus. Everything is working properly, except for the fact there are glitches right now. I'm looking forward to the beta. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys like my videos, please go ahead and um, like and share with your friends. If you guys want to follow me on social media, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just be warned, I don't I don't really use Facebook or uh, Instagram that often. But I do use Twitter, and I'll try to hit you back up if I can. If you guys like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Once again, my name is Tony Wale. Thanks for the click, and I will see you next time. Let's punch a duck. Come here.
It's such a cruel world.